Welcome friends, uh, my name is Mohammad Kashif and I will be your trainer for the course which is related to understanding of cable sizing and voltage drop calculations. So this course uh, will be covering uh, topics uh, of basic definitions. We will start with basic definitions like um, what is uh, cable sizing, why it is required. Basically, whatever implies electrical appliance or load you connect with a source uh, to a transformer or to the supply board. Always there is a question that which size of cable we should choose. And this is uh, really a good example. Uh, in, in this course, we will cover that how it is selected that what should be the cable size and it will be a really useful course. So we, in this course we will go through the understanding of basic technologies first. For, uh, this is for those who has uh, very little background knowledge about the uh, electrical cable sizing. So we will discuss continuous current carrying capacity which is called as ampacity and how continuous current capacity is calculated for any electrical item. Then we will study the short circuit capacity. So each uh, wire, each electrical wire that we we see in our system has two ratings. One is continuous current capacity and another one is short circuit capacity. Then we will study why short circuit capacity changes. So it changes. It's really interesting that we know that how it's changing in the system. So if for example if number of sources are increases the short circuit capacity will also short circuit capacity uh, short circuit level will also increase so we will discuss the voltage drop basic concepts how to calculate the voltage drop and then we will discuss the basic concept of phase to phase and phase to ground voltages so uh, in this course uh, we will uh, cover the correction factor k and what is basically temperature correction factor in air uh, k1 then another factor is ground temperature correction factor K2. Uh, another factor is thermal resistance correction factor K4. Soil correction factor K4. Then cable uh, depth factor K5. And then cable distance correction factor K6 and then K7. So uh, rating of the cable is not, uh, is not simply defined by uh, amperes but it's also uh, important that where you are putting the cables you are putting this cable under the ground the cable rating will go down and if you put this uh, cable uh, in air the rating will increase similarly if you bunch different number of cores of cable together the rating again it will be affected so at the end uh, we and uh, if for example you are putting some cable under the soil where the soil temperature is uh, normally high like in warmer areas uh, for example in Africa where temperature uh, is reaching to 48 to 50 degrees centigrade so uh, in these areas in the same cable uh, which is for example used in Antarctica in, in, in icy area we put the cable under ice it will carry more current and if you put the same cable in Africa in deserts where temperature is reading 50 degrees centigrade you cannot pass the same value of current uh, through the cable so uh, we have to consider all these factors um, when we are uh, deciding that what is actual rating of the cable depending upon the environment so these are all the factors that we will discuss then you will see the cross section area so cross section if increases the current also capacities also increases so as I explained, it is measured in ampacity. So we'll discuss it in detail. Then we'll discuss some um, important topics like American wire gauge systems, because cross section area is measured in American wire system (AWG) millimeters, centimeters, or uh, sometimes in MCM. So the concept is the cross section is increasing, and then the current carrying capacity is increased and the resistance of the specific item is decreased so similarly we will also go through this some charts 
which are defining uh, copper conductor I mean conductors uh, ratings and we will discuss this also in detail so basically a difference between cable and conductor is like if the cable is uh, have insulation and uh, conductor itself bare conductor that's called is, is without insulation and both have different ratings then we will study how to calculate voltage drops and we will also study the con what is continuous current rating what is short circuit rating and how short circuit rate, uh, current is calculated for pvc and xcd cables we will discuss some formulas and then further we will discuss the short circuit level i will discuss the example how the level is increase and decrease and how it has effect on the selection of cable later on we will discuss how to calculate short circuit level for low voltage level um, we will consider an example uh, for the distribution we will do the calculations and we will see the how this uh, how we calculate the uh, short circuit level of specific uh, distribution systems then we will understand what is a uh, voltage drop we will discuss ohm's law what is the uh, series and parallel circuits what are the voltage drops and what is a permissive voltage drop in our calculations what i will explain you what is this parameter is all about then uh, i have some notes though in in this we will cover the theoretical parts so i will cover some notes uh, related to uh, calculations and there is one lee grand power guide so that we will be studying so let's see so this is the notes that we are going to study in depth like cable sizing calculation methodology construction installation conditions base current rating and further you can also download this uh, uh, for your self study installation method different methods you can install the conductor in different shapes so if you install the conductor in different shape it has a different effect and the rating ultimately will be uh, get affected i will discuss all type of formulas and this will be really helpful so you can download it and you can even study with me uh, these things then we will go briefly on i will show you briefly how sizing calculations uh, are conducted so this uh, is manual from degrant so we will study this manual briefly we will discuss overloads short circuits calculation principle of uh, installations uh, protection against overload overloads and then you can also study characteristics of conductors wiring system different wiring system installation methods groups of circuits ambient temperature risk of explosion parallel conductors global correction factors cross section of neutral conductor devices of protection against overloads there are different type of devices which can be used then we can go through checking voltage drops protection against short circuits what is the breaking capacity what is making capacity checking the thermal stresses permitted by conductors whenever there is a short circuit there are two stresses on the conductor one is electrical uh, one is uh, thermal stress because of high current it will be heat up and another stress is mechanical stress because there will be huge electromagnetic field and it will put a huge stress on the conductor so if the conductor uh, has any weak joint or weak point it can break um, on these forces then we will study production against direct indirect current tn system briefly tn system breaking time fault current maximum protected lines further we will check the maximum protected line lines solutions when tripping conditions are not met so sometimes the fault level is very low uh, in in case of uh, for example high impedance ground faults so ground faults we will see what we can do then we have a simulation of short circuit and calculation examples then we have conductor selection and use of cables and conductors cable cross identification wiring assemblies so we will go through this uh, very briefly and for us you can do uh, examples uh, it has very good examples that you can do yourself and this is uh, basically the software excel pro 2 calculations and now i i check on the internet they have also uh, excel pro 3 and 4 uh, but excel 
Pro 2 is available free of cost. You can download this and you can use it for your calculations. Uh, this is a very useful software. So we will go through briefly. I will be explaining you all this data. Later on, um, what's my uh, study plan is that we will um, do solve an example which is based on some we will take one example that how electrical loads of 60 kilowatts distance between source and load is 200 m meters uh, system voltage is 415 volts three phase four factor is uh, 0.8 and permissible voltage drop is 55 percent so we have to calculate uh, that how much uh, and which cable is suitable for us so we will do the calculations and with this example you will be able to understand that how the cable sizing and voltage drop calculations are done so we go through this example we'll check all the k factors involved in it one by one and at the end we will select the cable based on our calculations so this is example and in the last uh, what I will be explaining to you is uh, that uh, overall concept of uh, uh, cable sizing and multi drop calculation. So what you realize now that if you want to select a cable what parameter that we need to look for forward is the continuous current carrying capacity, how much will be the thermal stress on, on the cable and what is the voltage permissive voltage drop that is uh, allowable and then the short circuit capacity so these all parameters we have to match and we have to select the conductor so i hope that you will like my training and will please uh, enroll in this training which is really basic and it's really useful thank you very much